Creating a cross section can be done by three methods. The first method is to go to the Home tab, the Windows icon, and choose Well Section Window. We could have also have gone to the Quick Access Toolbar to the Window icon and chosen Well Section Window. Either way, when we choose that, the Select New Well Section Window settings pops up, which asks us whether we want to create a new cross section or use an existing one or create a new template or use an existing one. A cross section is simply a list of the wells that are in the well section. The template tells us what is being stored in that well section. Whenever we decide what we're going to do, in this case, we're going to create new ones. We click the OK button. At that point, the new cross section is created all along with the well section window. To put wells in the well section, we then come to the wells folder and any subfolders, open them, and then click the wells that we want to go in our well section. The wells are put in the well section left to right in the order in which they are clicked. The cross section is stored at the bottom of the input pane. If you already have a cross sections folder, it would simply add another cross section to it. If you don't already have a cross sections folder, it creates that cross section, adds the section to it. Second way of creating a well section. Display a 3D window and display your wells. If the well bores are not large enough to click on exactly, you may open the inspector. In select mode, click on one of the wells. It brings up the inspector for that well. Under the style area, there is a path. You can change it from narrow to wider. You see that only some of the wells are changed. These are the wells that are in the same folder as the one I clicked. To change other wells, simply click on one of them that has not been uh, made wider. Again, make its paths wider, and also for the third folder of wells. Once the paths are wider, we can get rid of the inspector, and under the Stratigraphy tab, click the cross-section editing icon. This brings up the tool palette with the cross-section editing group active. This icon to the left, cross-section add well, needs to be clicked. Then we can just go out and start clicking on the wells we want in our section. After we click the first one, it brings this window up again, but now it knows we're creating a cross-section, so it doesn't ask us anything up here. It's just asking whether or not we want to use a new template. At this point, we will use a new template. Clicking on the OK button gets rid of that. It creates us a new cross-section with that one well in it. To add other wells, go back to the 3D window and simply click on the other wells that you want in your section. They don't have to be in the same folder. They can be just any wells in your project. When you're finished, you can again go over to the well section, and here are all the wells. The wells, again, are left to right in the well section in the order that we click them. The third way to create a well section is to use what's called a poly section. To do that, we need to create a 2D window and display the wells of interest in that window. You will probably need to use the view all eye to see all the wells. You also might want to change the background color. So here we have 2D window, all the wells displayed. Again, go to the cross section editing tool here under the stratigraphy tab. It brings up the tool palette. This icon here says create cross section via poly section. When we click it, a window comes up, which are the settings for the poly section. The distance limit, this distance in this case, 500 meters, tells how far away Petrel will look for wells to put in the cross section from where we click. So now we just have to go out, click somewhere in the window. This circle is radius of, in this case, 500 meters. If we want it to be larger, we use the slider bar, make it bigger, you can see the circle getting larger also. Now we can just go out, we don't have to click on exactly any one of the wells, just get kind of in the general area, and any well that is inside this red shaded area will, will be put on our well section. Now this includes side tracks, uh, it includes wells that are close enough together 
that they are all inside this red shaded area. It includes wells that we would cross over from one to the other. They become also put on the well section. When we click on the OK button, it again asks us whether or not we want to use a new template. We can click OK. And now it creates a well section. Again, the wells on this well section, left to right, are the same order that we clicked them. Again, our cross section folder down here now has the different cross sections that we have created. If we need to edit one of the cross sections, for example, to add a new well, we can go to our 2D window, display one of the cross sections. You can see it right here. We might need to go to the settings and style to make the line a little bit bigger so we can see it easier. Now we can see the line a bit easier. The tool palette is still up. If it's not, once again, click on the cross section editing. It brings up the tool palette with the cross section editing group active. This icon right here, Xedit, add, edit well. We can click on that. Then if we come and just click on another well, it adds that well in between the two closest wells. If we decide we don't want one of the wells in our cross section, we can come click on that well, and click on the red X, and it's deleted out of the cross section. If the wells we like, but possibly they're in the wrong order, once again, display the cross section. Once again, we might need to go up and change the style of it to make sure we can see the line better. Change this to a, a thicker line. If we don't want this cross section to go from C7 to C1 to C2 to C4, but we want it to go from C1 to C4 to C2, we can bring up the settings for the cross section by double clicking on them or right clicking and choosing settings. Coming to the definition tab here, here are the wells in order. If we want C2 to be at the end, we can highlight the C2 well, use the up or down arrows to move it to the correct location. Then when we hit either apply or okay, our cross section is changed to how we want it.